Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again. I know I'm doing a lot of The Streak recently, but I'm really loving it right now. And we're going to start our day off again with the Icicle. Obviously, we're enjoying the Icicle quite a lot and I hope you guys are as well. So this time, let's start her off with a bit of a different item. Um, let's go with... What should we start with? Let's start with like a quality 2 item. Let's have a little look-see at what we want to do for a quality 2 item. Um, and we can go with... What, what, what item pulls a Mask of Infamy in? Yeah, let's go with Mask of Infamy. It's a bit of a weird colour, but I'm going to give it a go because it's in the secret room pool and stuff, and that seems fun to me. Um, mask... Wait, is it just called Infamy? It's just called Infamy. There you go. Okay, so we know it's not quite a two. It's in item room or secret room, and it is Rebirth as well. That definitely helps. Um, it's... That's purple, I guess. I guess it is. Right, uh, it's everything but quality two. Nice, okay, and then item room or secret room, and we don't know anything else about it. Uh, so this, this this doesn't give us a lot to go on at the minute, so item room or secret room. Well, let, let, let's try and pick something that's item room only. Um, we could go with Rainbow Baby. That's not item room only though, is it? Breath of Life, is that what the sprite for Breath of Life looks like nowadays? I don't remember that at all. Um... We've done Magneto before. As, I think we did Magneto as one of our starting items, didn't we? Uh, we know it's passive. Do, actually, do we know it's passive? No, it, it's an active. Okay. This is our first active daily. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's go with... that. that that's a challenge unlock, so we can't go with that. Um, can we filter by active items? I don't think we can. Oh, wait. We've got tags down here. Oh, wait, no, that's just telling us what's what. That's fine. Okay, um... Interesting. I'm just taking a look to see if we can filter by active item or not. That would make things a little easier, just to see. But, let's have a little look-see. There's quite a few things it could be, to be honest. Um, Book of Revelations could be interesting. That's purple as well, though, so that's it's not going to be that, is it? Let's go with Book of Shadows. That's white, treasure room, and library. It's an active item. It also eliminates the library. Um, okay, so we didn't get anything from that. Also, Book of Shadows is from Flash. I did not know that. So we eliminate quality three out of here, which is good to do. Um, there you go. Right. We still don't item room or library. Okay, this this, this makes it a little difficult because it could still be a book. Um, I'm going to say it's not a book, though. Let's go with Doctor's Remote next. Let's go with Doctor's Remote next. Because um, we don't know anything else, really. Although, it's Doctor's... See, the thing is, on here, I don't... It doesn't tell me whether it's a Flash item or not, and I didn't play Flash. So I have no idea if Doctor's Remote is from Flash or not. I don't think it is. But, yeah, the addition of... Um, yeah, look, that's a Flash item as well. Like, I just... I just don't know that. But... We've got a lot of information here, so we know it's quality 1 now, we know it's grey, and we know it's uh, always unlocked, and we know it's rebirth. So now we've just got to find a grey active item, which seems reasonably easy. So Doctor's Remote into... What else have we got that's grey? Spider Butt is potentially grey-ish. I think it's actually the only one that it could be. Um... Let's keep going along here. Don't think we've got anything else it could be. So I'm going to guess spider Butt. I think that's the only thing it could be. Although, I would say spider Butt is grey and red, personally. Or grey, red, and white. But I don't know if the game is, is doing it that way. But I, I, I legitimately can't see anything else it would be. So I'm going to guess spider Butt. It's not spider Butt? That's Wrath of the Lamb. Okay. Please. For the love of God, remove the Flash and Wrath of the Lamb tags. I just... I don't know what from, from, from um, Flash and Wrath of the Lamb, and I don't think many people do, because very, very few people played Flash. So what the hell is it, then? It's... it's... Also, that's black and red. What? That's definitely grey. That's not black. Um... Oh, man. It's, it's, it's definitely item room only. What else in here is grey? Is it Game Kid? But Game Kid's in the Crane game as well, so I don't think it's Game Kid. 
This is tricky, man. This is tricky. This is really, really tricky. I'm not seeing any other active items that it could be, though. How to jump? But that's library as well, right? Box of spiders? Don't you dare tell me it's box of spiders. That is not grey. That's white if I've ever seen it. I bet you it's box of spiders. It's not. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah, good. At least that's white. Right, what the hell is it then? <laughs> is it how to jump? A grey only active item in quality one from Rebirth. Is it ha like the only thing I could see it possibly being now is how to jump, but how to jump in the library. So it can't be how to jump, right? This is really tricky. Okay. I'm going to do it because it's the only thing I can think it could be. I'm, s I'm so confused. What is it? <laughs> There's nothing left. Am I blind? Am I blind? Is it Mr. Boom? Did I somehow miss Mr. Boom? I think I did. What? It's not Mr. Boom either? What the hell is it? I genuinely can't see another active item that's grey here. I'm gonna have to do silhouette. It's flush? Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's flush. Okay, that was terrible. We did not do well there at all. Wow, as if I missed flush. For some reason, I was thinking flush was silver, not grey. So, definitely, in my opinion, some issues there. Right, one sec. Right, let's continue on with the run now. Um, but definitely, definitely some issues, in my, in my opinion, with uh, the colour scheme. And, yeah, I, I'm really, really... Come on, game. Catch up. Stop being a black screen, please. Come on. Hurry yourself one second. Right, we're back. Yeah, I... I take issue with a few of the things on there. I... They added the, um, the Rebirth and Wrath of the Lamb tags recently. And I'll be honest, I'm really, really not a fan. And that's... That's always obviously partially because I'm just not good when it comes to those. But another problem is, like, the sites don't list what came in Rebirth or Wrath of the Lamb. Because do you know what? That, this game isn't Rebirth or Wrath of the Lamb. It's... it's not. <laughs> it's... The, 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 the game is Repentance or Rebirth, whatever you want to call it. It's not Flash. So I think those tags need removing, personally, because they just confuse things a lot more than they should be confused. Uh, also, we got Tainted Bethany as our character here to go with for our streak, um, and I'm going to be playing as her and seeing what we can get going on. We got Blurhole Retention. I don't even know what that is. Uh, is that the one? Oh, I know which one that is, actually, now. I know which one that is. Okay. Good, good. Oh, wow, okay. Was not expecting Ipecac, and it is dangerous, but obviously it's really good, too, so we will take it. We will take it. And we'll see if we can make this work. But being able to bomb into every secret room and just having very high damage is, of course, very useful. So, I will definitely not turn my nose up at this. That's not secret room, okay. We're gonna be taking a look around to see if we can find our secret room here. There's one of them. That is Lanky Mushroom, which I don't think we have any way of getting right now. There's another Soul Heart, lovely. Oh, wait! Is this how this works? Ah, for some reason I thought it was gonna moon me into the middle of the room and allow me to do it. Oh, there's a Hanged Man right here, obviously. <laughs> I knew it was one of the cards from the machines there. Oh, look at look at us being lanky as all hell. You gotta love it. But yeah, getting extra soul heart there is very, very useful. Not having fun with you, little spider. Little little enemies that jump around are uh, very problematic for us. And of course, guess what it gives us? More of said enemy. That's a lot of extra pennies there. Nice. We'll check out the shop considering we've got enough to buy some HP. And um, we did actually get a pretty good item out of this, so pretty happy with that. We got uh, defib. Extra 50% damage in every other room. Not bad at all. Ooh, we got a giant pot as well here. Although we don't have flight right now, so there's not much point in destroying that one. But there is another one over here, luckily. 
Okay, I'll try and hit you. Oh my god. Hitting some enemies with uh, while trying to stay safe with this is so difficult. Oh, it's spider butt. Look at you, you, you dastardly bastard. I, I can't believe how wrong I got that. Like, obviously there was a few guesses there that would have been way, way easier had I known what was like Wrath of the Lamb and stuff. That would have saved me a hell of a lot of trouble. Um, it's a shame that I uh, that I made those mistakes, but we're not always going to be the Isaacle God. I mean, I'm still practicing sort of getting good at Isaacle. I, I, I'm, there's still a lot of it I'm not good at, good at so it's going to take a few a few sessions to actually sort of get up to speed with Isaacle, I think. Second secret room, I don't entirely know. I mean, I've realized this is not a good idea because I'm not going to get the item no matter what it is, but I still want to know. Okay. I'm, I'm not as sad now because I know it's an item I don't particularly care for. Uh, and then second secret room, do we have an inkling on where that would be? There we go. Give me a little huggy huggy. Okay. And then, honestly, spider butt I do not dislike at all. Spider butt can be pretty useful. Slowing effects, generate more spiders, stuff like that. We like it. Okay, careful not to destroy these poops in my face. Ooh, you uh, you got a little spicy there with the little kids. We don't like that. We most certainly don't like that. Can you can you not throw your kid at me at lightning speed, please? Or yourself at me for that matter. Okay, good. Nice and easy, and we do get some extra hearts here, lovely. And I've just realized we have a one room charge spider butt, which is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. It's a nice way to get us spiders. Do us a bit of damage. Slurs is the most important thing, though, I think. But yeah, one room charge spider butt is going to be pretty useful. I like that quite a bit. Whenever it kills an enemy, it produces spiders. Pisces, secretion. It's very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. Um, but I'll take it. I'm gambling, I'm gambling. Overall, it shouldn't be too bad for us. The Pax is rather nice here. As long as we keep our distance from the things we shoot at, it shouldn't be too bad. Half a blackout, and as long as we keep getting a lot of HP as well, that, that, that certainly helps. Now that's the sort of shot that could get us in trouble. The one where it hits a wall and splits towards us. But it seems to only parasite split when we hit a wall. So, in most scenarios, we're reasonably safe, I think. It's probably just an overall bad item to take, obviously, but... I'm not going to take that responsibility. Why did I activate multiple of these guys? That was just such a bad idea. Quickly destroy these. BFF. Good old secret room. <laughs> a Roboros worm, imagine. Imagine. I'll take this. That would be uh that would be quite something. That would be quite something. Good. Spider button to you. Yeah, it's, it's nice that it, it only splits on a miss, essentially. Lovely. What are you guys doing? Even then, it, it only splits on a wall here, by the looks of it. All bandages, of course, fine. We're definitely going Angel Deal here. Let's see if we can find Secret Room here. Oh my god, the, the, that, that split, like, multiple times. Certainly scary. That's, that's certainly going to be later down the line a little scary, but... I am not adverse to uh, to risk. And we also got a planetarium here that I was not expecting, so that's kind of nice. Um, one empty heart container, 5% chance to heal for double the amount of damage taken. Um, each hit increases the chance of healing after which resets back. Heals soul hearts as well. Taking red heart damage no longer decreases inch chance. This is, this is quite a good item for us here. We also get birthright. Spawn four random item wisps of quality three and four with a uh, significantly higher HP than normal. Okay, nice. Squeezy, Rusty Spoon, Imp Soda, and the Intruder. Honestly, nothing there is particularly amazing, but them having significantly higher health gives us a lot of protection 
from various attacks. So that's pretty good. As for the question of the day to day, um, what's, what's one of your fears um, that you have? I, I think I've probably asked this one a while ago before. Because um, I, I do remember speaking about mine, which is like, I've got a slight fear of heights, but not really. It's kind of a weird one. It is a fear of heights, but also not. Only thing about these, it's a little hard to avoid hit, uh, walking into enemies, considering there's so much, uh, so much size on these bad boys. These boys be thick, but I was glad to do that room, that was good. Really, I should try hitting the enemies first, but honestly, with the damage I'm outputting, it doesn't really work. I can't exactly hit enemies just a little bit, can I? Now that was a that was a close call there. Yeah, don't say don't take risks, baby. Um, heart container is probably for the best, to be honest. The damage wouldn't be enough to really do much. Piggy bank. I'll open this up and see what's what. Good, good. Okay. I think we're, we're gliding through right now. Why'd I use that in here? We're gliding through right now. Come on. Oh, I knew that was going to happen at some point. Okay, so I'm, I'm thankful that those tiers aren't explosive, because otherwise we would have a problem. <laughs> the, the stream of tiers that were um, chasing will be also my hair is... Uh, my hair has become somewhat detached from me. Isn't ideal. Slow plus the explosion makes killing things a lot easier as well. We've not seen that item room yet, have we? Oh, you're going for my buddy, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> Do we have herming in here somewhere? I saw a herming shot then. Yeah, we have created a situation that is rather bad. <laughs> um, we're just going to have to kind of play around it to the best of our abilities, but I don't know how plausible that is. It's actually fine right now somehow. I think certain rooms it's not going to be so fine, other rooms it's going to be okay. Yeah, this certainly uh, causes issues. I've not seen item room yet. Right. Or shop at for that matter. There you go. Shop for the soul heart. Yes, please. I think staying at the highest health we possibly can at all goddamn times is incredibly imperative to our survival at this point. I don't even know what hit me there, but I got healed straight away from my uh, thingy item. Unfortunately, my four large wisps are actually going to do a pretty good job of keeping the dangerous wisps alive. Which is scary to me. That's when it's scary, when it does the when it does the triple sort of break into break into break. Shattered Orb, it's a cool item. I really like it, but the one room you spider butt right now is is very, very nice. I think we ought to just get the hell out of here, to be honest. I think min-maxing and sticking around in a situation like this is probably not a good idea. But somehow, somehow I have, um, I I'm staying alive. And I feel like that's, it's, it's somewhat crazy. Uh, I don't remember where I'm going. God damn this mapping bullshit, man. Up here, I think. Yes, it is. We have such high fire rate as well. Good old cube of rot. Right, yeah, this is this is a weird one. We I I, I don't think we've actually hurt ourselves with our explosion yet, which is 
somewhat surprising. I'm sure that will change in due course. I really shouldn't be carrying on to use Lemmageddon, to be honest, because I'm just potentially creating myself more danger, but... I'm a glutton for punishment. How? How was I not hit there? See, every now and again, I have really strong herming. And I'm not sure where it's coming from. And I think it's saving my life. And I'm trying to work out what item it is that's giving me really strong herming. So I don't see any in there that would be doing so. It's a weird one. There's a crab in here somewhere, isn't there? Opening up a secret room is genuinely very dangerous. Can the, can the little explosions not hurt me, or am I just getting really lucky? Because I feel like I should have been hurt there, and I just wasn't. Um, we know there's health in there, at least. That's good to know. That is good to know. Yeah, we're, we're, we're now in... We're now in the mode of, we just have to try and stay, stay as, as alive as we can. Um, and get out of floors as quickly as possible. Now this I don't particularly like. My boss, just come and kill you quickly. Oh god, oh god. Did I have kidney stone then? What the fuck was that? Oh, that was secretion I think actually. That was secretion. Okay, never hold down fire for too long. Otherwise secretion will, will go off. Interesting, the apple. Switch between um, fire rate, multiplier, damage multiplier, plus luck. Um, let's take a little look at this, because this might be good. Okay, no. That is, that is not good. Uh, I guess we could stick with this mode to gain the luck and stuff and shot speed. But I think I'd honestly rather just stick with spider butt. Like, which is, it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird one, but honestly, spider butt, you're doing me a solid right now. You're doing a good job, and I do not want to, uh, take that away from you. No! My first hit also, did you see what happened with that room there? My first hit on myself. It has finally happened. Why are my tears going so high all of a sudden? I swear that wasn't the case before I picked up the apple. Did the apple fuck something? I, I, I genuinely don't think the little ones can hurt me, you know. Yeah, like my tears shot so... Oh, was it the rotten bloody fungus thing that I just picked up? The fungus. I think the, the fungus did it. My tears are arcing way more than they were before now. Got a golden pill there. Do I really want to get into risking it with a golden pill? Ooh, stopwatch is nice here. Okay. Room didn't really matter too much. Friend folio. Nice. Oh, lovely. Did, did, didn't expect that to happen for some reason. Right, let's get the hell out of here while we still can. I'm actually going to go and buy a half soul heart. I realize it's not worth all that much to us, but why not buy it? Oh my god. Right. This is a scary run. This is currently a very scary run. <laughs> Even though our health is very good and we're actually in a really good spot right now, it could all go so wrong so quickly. I'm really not liking the accidental tier height that I've given myself. It's, it's making things a lot more tricky. And I don't know if that's through a Lemmageddon item or through the, the, the fungus. I think it's the fungus. Yeah. So, in that situation there, look, I didn't get hit at all, and I feel like I definitely should have been, so I don't think those ones, those tiny ones, can damage me. Which definitely alleviates some pain points. But, like, that should be hitting. The, the, um, Cricket's body ones, they, these little ones, they can definitely hit me. I know that for a fact. But the, um, the ones from Parasite, I don't think can. Intriguing, isn't it? Reflux. Oh god, we just lowered our fire rate by a ton. 
Actually, that's not too bad, to be honest. I need flights. I can get away from explosions a little easier. That would be nice. I think it might also just be that those explosions always hit the edge of the room, so they have a hard time hitting me. Yeah, look, like, they, they never hit me. That makes me, makes me a lot happier. Genuinely. I don't think this is a good idea. Do you know what? No, I'm losing wisps doing this. It seems like a this seems like a terrible idea. I don't care what your item is. I don't need it. As SpongeBob would would say, I need it. I need it. I don't need it. It's the opposite to that, actually. Look, there you go. At this point, there's just nothing I can do to stop like the explosions happening. Interdimensional buddy. Interesting. Interesting. Really, you're going to produce one of these guys. Once the explosions stop, there ain't much we can do. We found a secret room there. Nice. Um, right, I'm going to quickly go back and grab that soul heart up there. This is what I'm talking about, about it being difficult. Ooh, a vanaparitarium. See what we get. Ares. Ares is nice for the speed, definitely. And then we get ourselves Torn Furter. That's nice too. Thank you. Right, quickly go back and grab this soul heart up here. Oh god, I just perked my microphone. I hope you didn't hear that. My bad. Oh my god. I, I, I'm genuinely fearful right now. This is just such a cr- Like, the, the, my, my problem is when we get to the womb, things really start to, start to become a, a lot more real and a lot more difficult. <clears throat> Situations like this, just let our wisps kill them all. Okay, missing is is such a such a monumental error because if we miss, the shots hit the wall and shit goes down. But because of this fucking tier height bullshit, it's impossible to actually hit anything. It's very, very difficult to hit on target. Okay. Crazy jackpot. Okay. We've not seen our item room yet either. Although it's a, it's a curse of the blind. Let's just not. Let's just not. There's no need. Dude, you need to stop moving. I can't be hitting walls like this all the time. Okay, we're good. We're good. Every time I get hit by an explosion, my hair goes wild. GMO corn could be good, could be awful. Gideon's gaze is rather nice. Right. Let's keep it going, people. Let's keep it going. It's weird. This is both a very, very, very strong run, but also the largest risk that we've had yet to our uh, streak. <laughs> I've made something quite insane. Oh, it's quad fly. Little segments break off one at a time. That's kind of cool. I like that as an enemy. God damn. I really wish I hadn't taken whatever jumped up my tier height so much. Because it's, it's causing trouble. Mystery sack. <laughs> I just... I love the way it works where it's like, up, oh, it hits a wall... Automatically, it's going to infinitely spread. 
Also, we se seemingly always have the worst curses. Also, as well, it is very bright. There's a lot of glare on my screen right now. It's very hard to see. Dude, look at the herming. What is causing that amazing herming? Give me that all the time. It would make my life so much easier. Also, walking into a room and enemies are just starting to be bled. That wasn't ideal. This is really not ideal. Fuck me. I'm basically just have to hold fire down this way. Wait for them all to line up. Took a bit of doom what we got there. Serpent's Kiss. Oh, Cootie's actually a good item here. Cootie's actually a good item here, because it means one enemy in a room will always be charmed, which is super useful. Just taking them out of the pool of enemies we have to deal with. I think an enemy actually careened into me there. Pool card, nice. Look at that, that's... This is making things so much more difficult, I can't just hit the enemy. Has to like, do a bunch of bullshit. Ooh, very good, very good trinket there. I will take. How are you not dead? Come on, dude. Just, just let me chop your head off, please. Golden bombs? Oh, we don't have any keys. Didn't realize we don't have any keys. Jawbone. Still no keys. Again, I don't really care. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't want to be hanging around anywhere, to be honest. Um, don't think- oh, well, I suppose that's actually pretty good. We'll take that and pop it. This is also pretty useful. Let me out. Heart rupture. Tears up. Look up. Do not want shot speed up, thank you. I'll be okay without that. Right. Tis boss time. Did get a soul heart there. Nice. For a hot minute game, just chill out. Quickly check in here. Nothing that I want. Go in here. Where's my fool card gone? Bollocks! I had a fool card specifically for this situation. And it's gone. God damn it, where did it go? I must have left it in the secret room. Honestly, in that case, I don't think I can do this. I've got to go. I can't be sticking in the uh, boss rush. But I was really hoping to just steal an item. The mulligan would have been a half decent one to steal. Wish I had some mapping right now. There's a lot of enemies that seem to just kind of be dying upon me entering the room, which is, I guess, pretty helpful. I'm not entirely sure why they're doing so, but it is kind of nice. Right. God damn it. All the wrong ways. I just hit a wall and then wait for, like, the entire fucking thing to be carpet bombed. It's a risky strategy, but it does, it does get results. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's even though it's not hurt, it's like them wall ones have never hurt me. It still scares me to death every time. Every time I'm still like, oh shit. Masculitis isn't going to be scary at all. 
We've got small rock in there as well, apparently. Thank you. Okay. Cat of nine tails, good. Can we finally go the right way here? Oh my lord, no, we can't. The right way does not exist. God damn it, game. Why the womb gotta be like this? Just give me a card that lets me skip the womb every time, please. Literally, all those rooms, none of which end, uh, equal the right way. L look at that tier height. Why is it firing at that fucking distance? It's insane. Just, just hit the enemy I'm aiming at, please. Oh my lord. Evil eye seems not so good for us. Yeah, evil eye seems like not a great idea. This is such a wild run. In like a regular run, this would be like the best run ever and I wouldn't give a shit. But on, on a streak, I'm like, oh my lord, I have to play this so fucking safely. It's so good, it's so strong, but I have to play so cautiously. Oh, I got hit there. There is a soul hat back over there I can go and grab. Right. I've got to go all the way back and grab that soul hat. I cannot be leaving a floor with health um, on the floor. It's just, it's a bad idea. I've got to take every advantage I can get here in this scenario. The good thing is in most rooms, I, I find secret room without even trying, which is nice. Oh, there it is. The uh, the lemma getting wisps kind of cover things on the floor up when I'm near them, so I've got to kind of walk away then walk back to actually know where things are. I think we've got BFF at it as well at the minute. I, I, I'm pretty sure I see my uh, familiars are all a bit bigger. A bit bigger, a bit bolder than normal. Right. Hope this is the right way. I'm just kind of going to yeet a bunch of shots over there and try and let nature take its course, so to say. Hmm. That's a bit of a risky one there. Again. Stand in the middle of the room. Let nature take its course. It seems like most of the time it, it pans out for us. We get some more soul hearts here. It's good to know after this fight if it goes awry. Wow, that's that's very very good to get there. Like just just to get a random revive. It's a, it's obviously a revive that doesn't do a lot for us, but it's a revive nonetheless. That's that's it's very clutch. Why do we keep getting this enemy? Can we can we leave it alone with the enemy that doesn't fucking die? Don't like the sitch in this room. There's a lot of blood on the floor. Don't know if it's gonna hurt me or not. There is so many things that are killing enemies before I even get a chance to hit them, which is both bizarre and very comforting. Do I have deep pockets somewhere in here? I must have deep pockets. I think it's the finger, you know. I think the finger is just doing a butt, like a buttload of damage. Anzus. I think I'm going to try and hold off on Anzus till the next floor. Now that I'm sort of midway through this floor. Let finger do its do its work. That is a good thing, I suppose, with fingers. We can we can use it every now and again to alleviate the need to fire, which saves us some trouble. On tomatoes, nice in there too. Of course, there's nothing we can do to avoid those guys. No, I think I finally got hit by one of the wall tiers somehow. I think I was just pushed up too far against the wall. Okay. 
This is potentially a difficult boss as well, because uh, if we miss, we uh, cover the room in tears. But luckily, we didn't, so that makes things easier. Okay, quickly check the devil dealing kids, anything beautiful. It is. It's beautiful fucking HP is what it is. If you could stop being charmed and instead be dead. Thank you. Right. And us on this floor, because this floor we can go a lot of wrong ways. That helps. Extra black heart there. I'll come back for that in case I need it rather than taking it right now. Dead bird. I think we still have our, our like extra health wisps, you know. I think we may have lost Cricket's body. I think I think Cricket's body got deleted at some point, which is of course valuable for us. Alleviates some of our pain. Definitely. Alleviates some of our pain. Good. Brought some out doing some good stuff for us there. Yeah, we, we definitely don't have Cricket's body anymore, which is very nice. <clears throat> it's an annoying room to have this guy as the invincible one, to be honest. I'm just going to keep spam firing and hope for the best. Yeah, I genuinely thought we were going to stick with that the whole game. I didn't realize we were ever going to get rid of it, but... We got lucky. The game blessed us. So unfortunately though, we have insane tier height and makes it really hard to actually hit things accurately, but we're dealing with it somehow. But we can be a bit more aggressive now in terms of getting up in enemies' faces. We've not got that thing where it fills the entire room with shots either anymore. We can just kind of sit there and wail on him for a bit. Oh, I, I genuinely don't know what just happened. I managed to hit him out of his laser phase, which is something I didn't know you could do. Right, there you go. Beautiful. Last floor. Last floor. Let's make our way in. Hopefully... We can keep it together. I think I think we've done a pretty good job of it thus far. Pluto Cookie's interesting here. Driftwood's good. Ultra Flesh good a bit late, but I'll take him on board. Why not? Pluto Cookie should be interesting for creating fires and stuff like that. We have half decent luck, so we should get a few items along the way here. Celestial Crown seems risky, but I'll take it. Remembrance I don't actually care for right now. Tell you what I do care about is getting this room to be over as quick as I can. Oh, Lord. what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Get out, get out, get out. Why did I fire at the wall? That was such a bad idea. Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. Wow, we still goddamn can. What lit that fire? Actually, what lit that fire? Please, tell me. <laughs> Could the fire go away, please, so I can get through the door? Thank you. It's not even the right goddamn way. I have to fight a boss I really hate. Luckily, I'm able to hit him through his ins insanely egregious invincibility frames. That last a year and a goddamn day. Get, removing him from the boss pool was the best decision I ever made. I'm so much less sad now that I don't have to deal with him regularly. I think Celestial Crown is definitely introducing some weird variables here. The fuck hit me then? Oh man. 
I need to make sure not to stand against walls, because I'm clearly hurting myself by standing against walls here. You see what I mean by things could go wrong quickly? Like, we've taken a lot of hits on this floor already. It could always get worse. I do not like the new version of the little Chad. He's a lot more... A lot more difficult to keep track on. And I've been hit again by... I don't know. Luckily, I got healed, though, by my uh, planetarium item for a good amount. Just stay above ground so I can kill you. Thank you. My hair, once again, is very broken. Gotta be careful. If these guys do yeet the head at some distance. You've created a nice... A nice path of, of of green that I'm incapable of getting past now. This is uh, a lot of the room covered in that green. I'm going to try and get to the other side of the room because not much I can do about that. No way. I guess so you can't do the spinnies when there's all that greens there, please. Come on, please say we go the right way. Make our life a lot easier. Look at this little fly protecting these guys. Oh, really not the right way, god damn it. Again, stay away from the goddamn walls. Just die quicker. Are you iframing it as well, Goober? Let me out. How am I not allowed out? Let me out. I should have known this wouldn't be the right way. What makes you small? Why not? Oh my lord. It's just a sea of endless mistakes. Just let me leave this unholy land. Please don't tell me it's this one all the way up here. What the fuck game? So many wrong ways. All the way back here. Hate this game sometimes. This floor is bullshit. Okay. We've got to be nearly there. Let's just hope and pray that we're nearly there. Dude, there's more enemies in this room. Calm down. Okay, I don't even know what happened there. A lot, to say the least. Okay, having these fires about is really useful. A lot of the enemies are spawning in and instantly dying to these fires. We like that. Okay, we found the boss. Good. Now we just gotta deal with these dudes. Which isn't actually a kind of difficult because we've got the super yeet shots that are really hard to aim. We got them both? Is that everything else dead as well? No, apparently it's not. Holy water, right. Just boss time, let's go for it. We should be absolutely fine here, especially with that item that heals us on a, on hit sometimes. Just gotta play fast and loose. And not stand too close to the walls is imperative. Don't get close to me, buddy. I mean, luckily we're doing a lot of damage, so that's making things a bit easier. And also our wisps are just tanking every single bullet shot. Okay. Last phase. We have done it, baby. We have done it. One of our riskier runs yet. Although the health was fine pretty much the entire way through. It was just the, the ever-looming possibility of it going so wrong. 
It never really did, but... That possibility was always there. Now, if you could stop fucking moving, my guy. There you go. We're done, baby. We're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.